Every client comes in with their own set of challenges, especially blonde clients. Today I'm lashing my model who has the blondest, lightest lashes I have ever seen. So I'll be working through her set while also sharing with you a few tips and tricks to help me along through my service. Firstly, you wanna make sure that you have a good contrast between those lashes and the eye pads. Today, I'm working with our blackout eye pads so I can see exactly what I'm doing. Had I would've used our standard gel eye pads, they would be way too light and I wouldn't be able to see those fine natural lashes along the lash line. So making sure you have a great contrast is key. Brown lash extensions are such a great choice for blonde clients, even if they want drama, because the grow out is so much more gentle without a harsh contrast between the light natural lashes and the dark extensions. Brown pre-made fans and colored lashes are available at lostartistrylash.com. So enjoy 10% off our colored lash series using the code COLOR10 at checkout. We'll leave the code in the description below. You can use this code for any colored lash trays of your choice. Placement also makes a huge difference on blonde clients. If we place our extensions too far away from the lash line, then there's gonna be a very obvious contrast between the extension and the natural lash at the base. Try to place your extensions 0.5 millimeters away from the skin so that those extensions look like they are growing straight out from the lash line. Blonde clients often have a ton of short and fine natural lashes that can be really tough to see. So you wanna make sure that you have optimal lighting. At our salon, we have two LED lights for each side of the bed. They also have adjustable settings so you can adjust the brightness as needed. And as for isolation, a fine tip tweezer is necessary. My personal favorite of ours is our Sunset Ultra. It has a nice curvature so you can isolate around any eye shape easily. Even deep set eyes become less challenging. And it has a super fine tip so you can maneuver around even the shortest natural lashes. It is definitely one of my all time favorite isolation tweezers. We'll leave it linked in the description below if you wanna check it out. Lashing the bottom layer is so important for any client, but especially with blonde clients, because if you miss a single natural lash along that bottom layer, it will be noticeable. So when it comes time to lash that bottom layer, just grab an iPad or some detached micropore tape, or you can even use a spoolie as well to just lift that top and middle layer back so that you can see that bottom layer so much easier. This will also help so much with isolation. As I've mentioned probably a thousand times in this video, blondes have short and fine natural lashes. So any way that we can get isolation to be even the slightest bit easier, by all means do it. Now, when I lash the bottom layer on a blonde client, I like to place my extension underneath the natural lash on that bottom layer only. And the reason why I do this is because what will happen is when you place it underneath, that extension kind of pushes the blonde lash up into the middle layer where it will no longer be noticeable. But if you prefer to place your extension on top of the natural lash, you totally still can. You will just be able to see the contrast between the natural lash and the extension. Not the end of the world, but if you wanna challenge yourself with something new and you haven't tried this technique, I highly recommend it. All right, there you have it. Those are my favorite tips for lashing blonde clients. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and we will see you on the next video. Thanks so much. Bye.